been at peace. But something is coming. If this film had been made and I hadn't been a part of it, for me, that would have been the biggest opportunity of my life missed. War is coming. An invasion. This game and this guy mean the world to me. So to get to be this guy in the movie of the game, that's pretty much, I mean, that's like all my Santas arriving on one Christmas day. For orcs, there is no other life but war. It took me three years to get a meeting and to finally worm my way in. And then they called me to say, hey, we'd like to offer you the role of Orgrim Doomhammer. He's a, uh, he's a size zero model, um, very handsome bodybuilder type. There was just this enormous and palpable sense of relief for me when I got the job offer that I would get to be a part of something that meant so much to me and to all the other people that play the game. If you played, you know, the first Warcrafts, you, you, you know what the story essentially is. But like any good magic trick, you know it's a trick, but you want to see it done well. If we do not unite, our world will perish. This doesn't need to happen. There is one who may help us. You know, the, the Warcraft universe, if it's that, we're telling this much and we're telling it in the right way. So what players like myself and fans and people that don't play the game can look forward to is being introduced to a world that either feels like home or that you'll want to become your home. Why are you here? To save our people. Our world is dying. There is nothing to go back to. Organ Doomhammer in our movie is uh, he's not part of the Blackrock clan, he's uh, Frostwolf, and he's Duratan's second in command and right hand man and best friend from birth. They were kind of a shamanistic, Native American-esque, kind of at one with nature, natural hunters, pray for the things that you kill kind of people. And they come into this conflict where their world is dying and they have to find a new home. Despite the fact that that's clearly the right thing, it's also really the wrong thing because other creatures have to die for this to happen. They're beasts. They should all be destroyed. I've been very lucky in a, in a relatively short career. I've only started doing this 10 years ago. That I've got to work with, you know, a lot of really, really great directors. And um, Duncan, this is his third film. And then he comes in and had this assurity about him and had this calmness about him and this passion that, that, that you see so rarely, you know what I mean? And he would create an environment where it was safe to play and that's the most important thing. So for a young guy, he had the experience of a much more experienced director and I would quite happily work for him forever. We have no choice. We should attack with full force. There was a lot of pressure, you know, especially with this duality of being the actor and being the fan, you know what I mean? There's this kind of, you know, I have to be a professional and do my job, but what if it sucks? And then when I saw the film, any pressure that was left on me just went away because as the fan of the game, as the hardcore raider that I am, and as the, as the person that I am, it's the film I wanted to see. We fight together or we die together. Every day was a pretty magnificent moment for me, which I was just pinching myself, realizing that I had lived the dream that so many gamers actually go to sleep and dream, which is being in the game. <laughs> if people can love this as much as we love this, we'll be able to expand into a whole universe of stories that will blow people's minds for a generation. Whatever you plan to do, do it now! Yeah!